And I want to give, give you guys some tips on this. You know, if, 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 you, if you DJ a bar, you know, some tips to help you out that I think work for me, that have worked for me. I've been DJing bars for a really long time. I think I've been DJing bars, I don't know, forever. For it's been you know because that's where you kind of start too you know what I mean I, mean, I started with weddings but I always did little bars in between so it, it's been a long time just little things I do number one you got to do your research if you didn't see my club gig preparation uh, video I, I linked it in the description after the show or whatever if you want to check it out um, I talked all about how this I research I do the same thing with bar gigs you know I, I look at the demographics of the town I look at you know who usually goes to the bar I, I reach out to other DJs who've DJed there before I plan my crates and stuff ahead of time or make sure I have a crate for everything I need. You know what I mean? That sort of thing. So that all goes without being said. But we're not going to talk about that today because we talked about that last week. I want to talk about other stuff. Number one, first thing I do when I go to a bar, a new place, and this applies to clubs too, you know, but like in general, I always go there, I introduce myself, and I thank them for having me. Okay. Hey, how you doing? My name's Nick. I'm the DJ tonight. Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it. And then, you know, where do I set up? That sort of thing. You kind of figure all that out. Okay. Sounds simple. But a lot of people don't do this. You know, you'd be surprised. We're in an industry, it's crazy. Like in the DJ world, being polite and nice is literally a competitive advantage. And I think a lot of people don't realize this. You know, and I'm not saying everybody, obviously, you know, but a lot of DJs, you know, can come off as douchey. A lot of DJs, you know, kind of think they're the shit or whatever. I don't, you know what I mean? Like there's a lot of DJs out there that are too cool for school. <laughs> You know, so if you're polite and nice and you shake the person's hand and introduce yourself and OK, you know what I mean? That goes a long way, I feel like, in our world. Like it really does go a long way in our world. So always keep that in mind. It sounds simple, but believe it or not, if you're very nice and polite, you, it's literally a competitive advantage in the DJ world and the DJ industry. So always do this, especially with bars too. Cause when it comes to bars, you know, you're going to meet the owner, you know, the owner's going to be there most times, right? I end up meeting the owner, one of the owners of this bar, you know, uh, sometimes at bars, the, the bartender has been there for 25 years, has a lot of influence over that bar who comes there, the owner, everything else, because they've been, de they've been uh, bartending there for so long, you know? It, it, it's it just, it's all very, very like, you know, you got to realize who you're going to be meeting, you know, in the club, you know, same thing. You want to be polite and nice, but in general, you know, definitely with a bar because you're going to meet the main decision makers when you get there. They're probably already there and stuff. And you, know, you just want to be nice in general too. It doesn't matter if they're, you know, I don't care if it's the janitor, be nice, just, just be nice people. Okay. It's a competitive advantage. And that goes for other things like show your ID. I left, um, I left the bar Ran out to my car. I had to grab a wire. And then I ran back in and uh, the, the exit door closed. So I couldn't get back inside so to go through the front door. I got to the front and the bouncer carded me. Right. He didn't know who I was. I showed him my ID. It sounds stupid, but like I know a lot of DJs that would say, oh, no, 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 no. I don't need to show you my ID. I'm DJ. I'm the I'm the no. I'm the, do you know who I am? Do you, do you know who I am? Do, do you know? I'm the DJ, bro. I'm the DJ. I don't need to show my ID. I'm the fucking DJ. Like, I, I. Why? Just show your ID. It takes two seconds, okay? The only DJs I would recommend not showing your ID to for, it's, it's if you're underage. <laughs> if you're under 21 and you got the gig, then yeah, say you're the DJ. Do all that shit. Because <laughs> you can't get in anyway. But if you're over 21, what's the big deal? Show your ID and get in. You know? I just think little things like that matter. I just, I don't know. I mean, maybe I'm just overcomplicating, but I just think little things like that matter. You don't need to be a douche. You know, you can come off as douchey like that. Oh, you know I'm the DJ? You know how I am? Like that, you can sound douchey. Just show him your ID and keep it pushing, you know? And in this situation, I showed him my ID. He looked at my ID and he was like, wait a second. Are you DJing tonight? Because like they had it on the social media, whatever, that I was going to be there. So I guess he recognized my name on the ID. And I was like, oh, yeah, yeah. He's like, oh, you don't have to, you know. I was like, well, well no big deal, man. I just, you know, I'm just showing you. And, and, and he, he looked at me like, wow, that's, that's crazy. You even showed me my ID. So that just tells me that no DJ does that. Like, you know, like I think little things like that matter. Now let's talk about big things, okay? You guys know what this is? You guys know what this is? Some of you might be saying touch tunes, jukebox. And you're right. But you're not 100% right. You know what this is? Okay. In the bar world, this is your opening DJ. Okay. This is your opening DJ. 
This machine is opening up for you, okay? They don't think for their own. They go by requests only, and then when they don't have requests, they play other songs that have been requested a lot. That's it. It's a request-only system DJ. It's a DJ request only if you want to give it a name. This is your opening DJ at a bar. You have to look at it this way, okay? I walked into this bar. There was music playing. It wasn't an iPod. It wasn't like a playlist. It was a Touch Tunes jukebox. Now, if you're not familiar with Touch Tunes, what Touch Tunes is, is a jukebox, right? So you pay and you get a song. But the cool thing is, is Touch Tunes has an app. You can download the app. You can load uh, money on the app with using your credit card or whatever else. And you can literally request songs from the app. So you don't have to go up and actually be the person putting the money in and everyone knows that the next song that comes on is your song, right? You can like on the sly in the corner at the table, just request stuff. So it makes requesting music very, very easy. So as the opening DJ jukebox, I, I put a lot of value in that, okay? I listen to what's being played on there. It's very, very, very important, okay? So a couple of tips with this when, you, when you're dealing with a jukebox, okay? When you're testing sound, you want to match your beats. You, 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 you don't want to play something that's going to sound like shoes in a dryer. You have, so in this situation, there wasn't a house system. I brought my own speakers, right? So you have a separate system than the jukebox system. Like, you always want to make sure everything sounds good. Like, you don't want to have, like, if they have a song playing that's like, you know, 100 BPMs, you don't want to drop, a, your, you, don't, you, don't want, you don't want your testing track to be 125, so it sounds like shoes in a dryer over top, right? You want to literally mix your testing song over top of the iTunes track and make sure your sound works and everything else, or iTunes, touch tunes track. Like, little things like that matter because you're not, like... The, you don't want the first thing that you play that you've been like you. This was the first time I've ever been at this bar, right? You don't want the first thing of the entire night that you play to be something's like, oh man, it's like over top. Yeah, he's testing the sound, but it's like it's going back and forth. It could bother somebody there. And just in general, we should always be, you know, we, if we're playing music, it should make sense, you know. So match your beats, okay? If you if you don't know what BPM it is, just look it up. You you, you can find it, okay? Shazam the song and look it up. Speak about Shazamin. I mentioned, listen what's being played on this jukebox, okay? And this is what I did. So when I got there, um, they had all kinds of different songs. It was like more like classic Rocky playing on the jukebox for the most part. Like a lot of like classic rock, a lot of like, uh, you know, Jersey type classic rock songs and a couple other stuff. And this one song in particular, when it came on, it was by Looking Glass. Brandy by Looking Glass. Never heard of this song in my life, okay? You, you know, some of you... OG DJs are probably flaming for it, I guess. Maybe it's a big hit. I don't know nothing. I didn't, I didn't research anything about Looking Glass. Never heard of this band, right? But anyway, this song came out, or this, this song came on in the bar while I was setting up. They turned the music up. So I guess the bartender turned the music up, and a few people were bopping to it. I was like, oh, okay. So I shazammed it. Never heard of this in my life. Looking Glass. So then I brought it up in Apple Music. When I brought it up in Apple Music, if you scroll all the way down to Apple Music, down on the bottom, they'll give you similar artists. Scrolled down to similar artists, went through the artists real quick, and I found me, I was looking for something. I, I need my first song. How am I going to start this thing, right? How am I going to start this thing? And I found Redbone. And that, right away, I'm like, okay, come and get your love, and that's going to be my starting song right there. So come and get your love. Because, so what you start with, I think is important because you want to, you don't want to start when it comes to a bar, especially a bar that has touch tunes, a bar that has like a different crowd when you get there than when it's going to be later, right? This is a bar that has a lot of older people, you know, middle-aged older people during the day, I guess, or at least during the day when I was there. And then later on, the younger people come out, right? So there's a transition in people. You don't want to start DJing and then people are like, all right, check, please. We out. The DJ's here, Right. You want to start DJing and have a nice smooth transition from the Touch Tunes uh, DJ opener, right? <laughs> the, 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 op the Touch Tunes opening DJ into what you're playing. So, you know, the, the guests that are already there, the people that are already there, maybe stay and have an extra drink. Maybe stay and, you know, watch the first hour, you know, hang out first hour. They're going to leave eventually, okay? No one's staying there. Like the older people that were there when you're setting up, they're not going to stay till 2 a.m., okay? Let's be honest. But if they stay a little longer, the bar makes a little more money and you're not clearing out the whole place and starting fresh, right? So I think what you play is very, 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 very important. So I thought about this. I did, I Shazam that song, right? I saw Redbone. I said, all right, come and get your love. It's right in between, right? It's not super fast. It's not super slow. Perfect 
anchor to my set, right? Your first song you play in a set, that's your anchor. That's where you start, and that determines where you go, right? Because you're not going to go, you know, come and get your love 105. You're not going to go up to like a 140 BPM song, right? You know, it's going to determine where you go. So I started with that, 